What is up, everybody? Mikey the Engineer here. The first orc colony, our colony ship, has gently touched down in the mouth of a large river delta on the several on the several continents that can be found on Shlagiria. The, this tim this temperate forested region will serve as an ideal first landing site. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement. Its reactor core is the process of being removed, so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers the first orc city on an alien world. Yajits. Yeah, okay, so, jumping right into this episode, let's get a, another one, another corvette. So, 532, uh, we can take them. The automated dreadnought, not so sure when we'll be able to take them. 945, probably a little later. And yeah, we, okay, so we've got this construction ship coming back to Izar to form a thing. Having this little complete. this little blob here is good because that means we could probably put something here. Now, a problem with def so defending the ones without plants are going to be harder because they um, don't have construction well, complete. It really, Long. really, really does help. Whenever you can, uh, what's it called? Whenever you can have a planet with a bunch of forts, you could build habitats, but they don't have FTL inhibitors as far as I know. Now, you could build a ring world. That's a lot of minerals for a defense point. So, maybe you just have to watch out for those. But, and of, of course, who knows how far we'll expand. We'll probably only attack more than we will the defense. And let's go to the fleet manager. Let's get you up to 20. That should help. Anyways, we're uh, Shlugaria. All is well. We're, we're making planet fall, which is good. Maybe we'll build another station there. Who knows? I'm kind of holding off on where I'm going to build stations because... I, Anomaly found. Uh, 80 days small. Retaining an object on the surface's moon is to... Deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors enable to determine its material composition. Let's check it out. Construction complete. So we have that. Let's build a mining station. And keep on, keep on. We'll get the vortex. Um, there's a lone plant here. Poor quality minerals. You're also a barren world. So unless you're a terraforming candidate, I do don't know what to do. Size of, oh, Anomaly so there, there's a size 11 guy world. Well, the mineral composition of Arcus 2 does not match projections. Let's go. Check it out, boys. All right, let's get, let's get some more ships for you. And keep on going. Alien mural. While conducting service scans on Kajalam 3A, science officer... Dog bar and the new crew of the rock. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Man, these these names. Ah, whatever. Discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on this moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation translate updated. alien mural. Uh, let's go to yo dog research. Anyways, uh, we're. Studying the drones, how to worlds, technology naval base. Secured. Okay, uh, we got a physics lab that is good. Auto exploration. Let's get auto exploration. Uh, ooh, blue laser might have been better, but auto exploration. Construction maybe. complete. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We shall see. Anyways, let's get a star base on this um, L gate thing. That's totally not going to backfire. It's definitely, complete. definitely going to backfire. Leviathan down. Thorough scans have revealed the cause of Arcus II odd metal composition. The plan is to crash out of a dozen massive spaceships, larger than anything we could ever imagine. Their constructive date dates back several million years. This material material will come in handy. Starship graveyard. That's pretty neat. Elegant insights. It's not immediately apparent this. At the time, but recent survey carried out by the rock ump seemingly sparked with a breakthrough in the ongoing study of the mysterious alligates when the report filtered back to the scientific community on Gork Prime. So we gained an alligate insight. 
Okay, so it just counts as... Okay, so we get insights, and then we learn stuff about it? I'm not entirely sure how this works. But that's the that's the beauty we're finding out, and that's why I'm not playing a campaign on my own. I'm 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 going into distant stars blind, and you are all along for the ride. So um, that should be good. Let's see where does everything this planet with three minerals mining station. Let's get it, and let's get let's get you a, another ship. We're at 521, that's 532. Okay. Maybe. How are we doing on leaders? We have 7 out of 10. Maybe we get another science ship. I'm starting to think about it. Star system charted. Uh, special project complete. Science officer Dogbor has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Kaja whatever. The text contains a staggering amount of data. The mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes in broad terms the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that had dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does, does contain several promising leads for technolo technologies we have not yet to consider there's enough data here to keep our scientists busy for dec decades but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts so you um survey system you huh well let's survey this system oh wait no you let's research the project there yeah we got to finish that one. Oh, this is where the alien mural was that is quite interesting very nice so, Construction complete. who do we have here? Let us indeed get a basic science lab. Let's go here. And let's move here. Let's start expanding this way. At least get to this ocean world. Size so 17 ocean world. Max extinction broken planet. Our astronomers are confident the asteroid built in this system was once a habitable planet. A storm sunder by unknown force. A special project has been Situation issued. Situation updated. And, well, let's research the project and see what's going on with the, with this plan. Construction complete. Okay, what about you? Let's get more minerals. Ah, uh, yeah, build mining station. We will want to get that four energy star probably sooner rather than later. Our mineral income is going down a little bit. Not too terrible, but a little more than I'm comfortable with. Okay, how much does another science ship cost? Okay, another science ship costs 85. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm going to get one. I'm going to send them this way. 532. I am going to Armageddon or mobile bombardment. Passive. Scientist has leveled up. Very good. Oh, he's one of the research scientists. Yep, they're uh, they're leveling up a little bit. How old is everyone? Just about 45, 55, 47. You are 45. You're 50. Construction complete. Mass extinction asteroid. The asteroid is actually a chunk of what was once a habitable and probably inhabited planet. Regular but overlapping fracture patterns indicate the planetary demolition was intentional and controlled, if somewhat rushed. All signs point to this planet being homeworld of whatever species destroyed it we may never know what drove them to consider planetary annihilation to be the lesser evil and perhaps we should be grateful for that okay so you let's survey that system and you let's get you a new leader what do we have we have research speed we have computing we have void craft okay what about you okay so we don't really have any good options here. Um, ump. You're, oh, you're doing physics research, so we'll switch you. Oh yeah, I wasn't looking at the people. So let's recruit somebody who's better at physics research. There we go with you. And you should, let's survey systems in this area. There we go. Let's do that. Um, you should build a starbase outpost. And all is well. So, continuing our exploration. 
no clue how to get to this star. The LGH will probably complete. kill us. Archaeologist, archaeological mission, the First League Naval Base, has concluded we recovered the emblem of the 28th Outer Rim Patrol Fleet, a mid-sized task force charged with the defense of trade routes leading to a League Associate to League Associate Nations along the Galactic Rim. Their basing orbiting College M4 was apparently their home port. An interesting find. So, 28th Fleet does sound somewhat concerning. However, keep in mind that um, it's common for military forces to just use random numbers to confuse or to mask their size. Right? So, like, you don't name divisions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You name them, like, 501st, Big Red 1, 101st Airborne, 89th Construction Airborne. Complete. Like, we did not have 101 Airborne divisions in World War II. Like, that, that, that's absurd. That, that doesn't make any sense. But that's the point. It didn't make any sense to the Germans either. So, Alien Menace, 557, 532... Do I really want to risk our fleet that bad? No, I don't. I want to get you up to a complete. much larger strength. You should build a mining station. Wait, what? Is that a four and a three for the mining station? Oh. Can I not build a mining station on the frozen world? With the uh, strategic resource? Construction complete. That would that'd be nice if I could do that. Okay, let's please. Technology secured. It's a lot going on. Uh, new colonists start with one additional pop. Will this count for Schlugeria? I hope so. Technology, farming subsidies. Let's get tile blockers. There we go. And you, go to mining station. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. So what do we have here? We have Gaia World and Alpine and Air World. We do we get the Ascension perk for World Shaper that allows us to terraform into Gaia Worlds. So let's see. I don't know if mega structures are gonna be our thing. So we're going to what is this? Construction. Rating complete. bombardment? No, we we don't want rating bombardment. We just Star want to kill everyone. System charted. We cannot build a mining station because, probably because of, um, what's it called? We can't build a mining station because it's connected with the extra resource. We have a class B star, which is purple, which is very interesting. And our mineral income is a little low. Uh, can I build? Construction complete. We need robots. We need to get the robot tech to be able to build robots. Um, let's get you building a mining station. There we go. So all is well. Sphere of influence expanded. Sphere of influence expanded. New factions recently gained traction. The internal political landscape of Wagork scientists ill Operation Battlecry. Members have. Pushing us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. We have a new planet. Let's pause. I'm going to get rid of that volcano. And we do need more food. So let's build a hydroponics farm right here. I want to remove this tile. Move this guy here. We'll probably get rid of that. And we did start with two people with two pops on that. So that was a good decision. What do you people want? Battle cry, traditional supremacy, Leviathan Slayer. So I want to get, okay. So basically, if I adopt supremacy, you will be happy. This is this is pretty pretty good. We get we have some good factions. They're um, actually being quite helpful. So size twenty continental world, high gravity, exofungus infestation. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain to get rid of. How much will it cost to clear them? 200 energy a piece? Yeah. That's going to be uh, difficult. So this is a size 22. Besides on the, starting on a size 20 world, that's that's pretty good. Ooh. There's a desert world and an arctic world here. And a trinary system. This this is awesome, first of all. Complete. First of all, that is amazing. Second of all, 
That will make a, a great fortress world. Anomaly found. Uh, there's sun's activity on ancient precursor civilization in the vicinity of this gas giant. Construction uh, complete. You, sir, should get some mining stations. Build a mining station. These are ice asteroids after all, so what could possibly go wrong here? I really don't want to find out the answer to that question, by the way. Okay, so if we are hurting on food, I could always just do this. More, more, um, or upgrade the hydroponics farms, which is what we'll do. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, this will be a good choke point world. Are we going to make all these choke point worlds? Maybe. We'll have to see. We'll have to see where the enemies are. We might not even get these. Although that size 17 ocean world. Complete. Might have to get, we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll just have to see. Okay, I wanna, let's get you another Corvette because I'm tired of waiting. I wanna go kill these people. Complete. Lead cruiser, the battle section of an ancient first lead cruiser has been discovered orbiting Re Remder 5. There's insufficient debris nearby to account for the rest of the ship, but what little remains in very poor condition, the hull has been riddled with holes from what appears to be a large mass Situation driver protect projectile. Updated. Uh, research that project, please. Construction complete. You should. Why? Why no mining say Oh well, we don't have enough. Um, Construction complete. We don't have enough stuff. Also, you. Well, you're done, so you can move here. Anomaly found. Uh, unusually deliberate geometric configuration of mineral drifts through the debris, built by whatever is possible of alien origin. Let's build a mining station and keep on keep it on. So, you are a dictator. Matt Gorkther, age 61. Architect, what, what, what do we have? Monthly unity and building cost. A new generation. Growth speed and happiness. Amoeba complete. hunter. That's good. So, wait, what, are these amoebas up here? Possibly. That seems likely. Let's get another Corvette. Pirate sighted. Fiagentris, the frontier system close to our space, has recently earned a reputation as a lawless hive of scum and villainy. It has attracted a large number of ne'er do wells, and following recent power struggle, these criminal degenerates are now sufficiently organized to begin launching raids into our space. I'm just reading everything this campaign because so much was added. So, that is why. This is a trinary system with a brown dwarf. Ooh, space pirates. How fun. And unfortunately, that is the end of the episode. That is all the time we have for this episode. Still haven't met anyone, but we are playing slower than we normally do. We're just taking it all in, enjoying the world of Stellaris, and we shall see what happens. But anyways, that is, uh, we're going to get a... Ascension perk at some point, so that's good. But anyways, uh, what do we need for these ones? You need gene tailoring, one ascension perk, and then we need three other ascension perks. Glandular, uh, whatever. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do we have slavery, refugees, citizen species only? Closed, aggressive, allowed. Okay, so we don't have anything on robots yet, but we will want to get robots at some point because we're going to tailor ourselves to be non-mineral focused. So we're going to be um, mainly energy and research focused. And then we'll have the robots tailored towards the minerals because I think minerals and food because I think robots do best with minerals and food. I'll do some research on that, of course. That I know they're best for minerals, but I'm not sure what else they are good for. So we shall see. But anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and checking out my Patreon page. Thank you all so much for watching. And until the next one, this is Mikey Derpanzinator signing out. See you, nerds.